Have you ever felt like you had no one left to talk to when it comes to your network marketing business? On this video, I'm gonna give you five tips and techniques to finding unlimited prospects to build your business coming up. Hey everybody, this is Darren Kidd. I am a multiple seven figure earner in the network marketing profession, but it hasn't always been like that. Matter of fact, I had years where I struggled. I said I would never do network marketing again until I had the right mentors that came into my life that taught me what to do, what not to do, that changed everything. And today I wanna to talk to you and give you five key tips to finding unlimited prospects when building your business. First of all, before I get into the five tips, let me just remind you this, warm market is always faster when building your business. What do I mean by warm market? The people that you know or referrals from people that you know because when you have cold market, which is people that you do not know, you have to take a while to build that relationship. And I've now been in network marketing for 25 years. I have not run across one person in 25 years that has shared what they do with every single person that they know. Matter of fact, studies show that in our early 20s, we know over 2,000 people by their first name. I've done this in my trainings many times where I take five minutes and the first two minutes I'll turn on some music and say, look, act like I'm giving you a thousand dollar bill for every name that you put on your list and go and I turn the music on and I wait about two minutes. Then I start reading through a memory jogger. Who do you know in accounting, banking, computers, does nails, does hair, needs hair, you know, just had a child, just got married, just got divorced, whatever it may be. In about four minutes, I stop the music, let them count it up, and most of the time, there's people that have 50, 60, 70, 80 names, and every now and then, there are people that have over 100 in less than five minutes. And I always ask them the same question, why did you only have a few names on your list when you walked in, but now you have all of those names in such a short period of time, and eventually somebody will get it and say, look, I was prejudging. Can't do that. You have to go to every person you know as if you and I were opening a franchise. Let's say it was sushi. You go, well, Darren, half of my friends don't like sushi. It's okay. You still want them to know that you have it because they're going to know people that do like it. So all you're doing is taking people from not knowing about your business to knowing about your business. So as we go into the five tips, do not neglect your warm market. And I cannot emphasize that enough. And a lot of times the people that you think will do it won't and the people you don't think will do it will. And most of the people I know for me and all the top leaders that I know and work with, they will tell you that the majority of the time it's not the people they introduced anyway, it's who they led them to, okay? The duds lead you to the studs and the studettes. So remember, start with your warm market, spend time on that list, that is the inventory, before we go into the five tips. Number one, don't be weird. <laughs> Remember, would you want to be sponsored by you? I could teach you the how-tos in a very few minutes and you go out and go, Darren, why is it not working? Because it's not the how-tos, it's how you do the how-tos. So if we're the messenger, we're not the message. So no matter what company you're in, I will guarantee you they have some type of third-party material that they use when prospecting. For example, maybe it's a DVD, maybe it's a website, a video, a magazine. And so I need to make sure that I'm the best messenger. You wanna be the best messenger that you possibly can. You're only one recruit away from a financial explosion. So as you're out and about, there's so many times that I don't feel like getting dressed. You know, decent. I don't wanna dress decent. Uh, I wanna wear maybe some shorts and you know, flip flops or whatever you may wanna wear at that time. I don't wanna fix my hair. Um, you know, we know that's funny, not, not much hair up there, right? When you only have three, you have to make sure they look good. But work on you, become the best messenger you possibly can. And when you're out and about, it's about building relationships. So don't be weird, but work on you and be the best messenger that you possibly can. Number two, find common ground. I don't go out to build my network marketing business the majority of the time, but I just do it while I'm out. So as you're out and about, here's, here's the way. I don't stalk people. Okay, you don't run around with you know, third-party tools in your hand looking for someone. And again, we talked about don't be weird, but what I will do is maybe I'm standing in line at Starbucks and there's someone in front of me. 
Now, I'll look for something in common. Maybe it's a guy with the same haircut that I have. And I go, hey man, great haircut. And he laughs, he's like, yeah, we have the same barber. Same stupid ball jokes all the time, right? And we get to chatting and then I just ask questions. So if you've ever read the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, it talks about out of me and into you. People love to talk about themselves. And I sincerely love listening and hearing and learning about people and what they do. So I go, hey man, so you know, are you from the area? You know, man, we, maybe we talk about the weather. And eventually I get to the point, I go, what do you do for a living? And they share that with me. And the next thing you know, they go, what do you do for a living? And that's when you give your little elevator pitch. And you could say, well, I work in the wellness space or you know, whatever it is that you do. Maybe I work in anti-aging. And so you build a little bit of common ground. They feel like they know you. That's, that's one. Another thing is you compliment them. So maybe I'm standing by the guy and he has great shoes. Maybe they're shining. I go, man, somebody did a great job shining your shoes. Who did that? And he goes, man, well, I was at the airport and I got them done while I was there. You're really, what airport? Oh, that's awesome. So great, hey, what do you do for work? What do you do for a living? What's your background? Maybe they have kids. I go, hey, cute kids. My wife and I have five kids. So I find something in common. I start the conversation. And then what I do before I walk away, then you may say something like, hey, by the way, my company's expanding here in the area. Do you happen to know of anyone that may be looking to generate some extra income? Or they may say something in their story. So if I go, hey, what do you do for work? And they may go, well, I'm in real estate. And then I'll say a lot of the times, no matter what they tell me, you must, oh wow, you must love that. And the majority of the time they go, actually, I don't love that. And I go, why not? And they'll give me reasons that I can use to pique their interest to look at what we do. We're helping them solve a problem. They may go, well, man, I love real estate, but what I don't like about it is I start over every single month. I get that sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach every single month. So then when you're getting ready to walk away, oh, by the way, hold on a second. Hey, I'd love to have your card. If they're in business for themselves or, the, you know, or they're in sales or commissions, that's always pretty easy because I can go, hey, maybe you and I can help each other out and we exchange information, here's what I do. And if they go, I, you know, I hate starting over every single month, then you can share a story or you can relate to them once again and go, hey, you know what, I felt the same way. At my job, I worked so hard, but every month I started over, I was looking for something with some residual income. And man, I found something and I'm so excited about my future. And, and you, that's how you, you, know, you meet people and you find common ground whether you compliment them or whatever it may be, but that's an important tip and trust me, it works. Okay, number three, which I've actually already hit on quite a bit, ask questions out of me into you. What do you do for work? How long have you been doing that? Where are you from? You know, you, you probably love that, don't you? And when you ask questions, get them talking, a lot of times they will give you their why of why they wanna look at what you do. Something very simple, but it works. Can people talk about themselves? Again, once it talks about it and how to friend, win friends and influence people, they, you know, they can talk about themselves for 30 minutes. All you did every time they stopped talking was to ask them another question and they walk away, you hardly said anything and they go, man, that's one of the greatest people I've ever met <laughs> because they talked about themselves the whole time. So number three, ask questions and you'll get, you'll get really good at it. Trust me, when you start doing it, you're gonna, you're gonna be maybe a little nervous, uh, you know, like we talked about in other videos. Every great networker was a bad networker once. So when you start asking questions, it may feel a little awkward, but continue to do it and you're gonna to get to the point where you're really good at it and it's second nature. Tip number four, remember it's a process. Do not try to close them on the spot. You don't try to ask them questions, pretend like you're interested, prospect them and then try to get them started in your business all at the same time, that's not the way it works. Remember, this is cold market. It's people that you don't know. You don't have a relationship with. Also, if we talk long, we talk wrong. So I'm asking them questions and then we get ready to walk away, go, hey, who do you know? Or, you know, I'm expanding in the area with my business or you're using something they said to invite them to look at information. But if we talk long, we talk wrong. And if they ask you, hey, so explain to me what you really do, you've gotta be at the point where you can go, hey, look, I would love to, but I've gotta run. 
where I would love to, but it's not mostly visual. I would probably confuse both of us if I try to explain it here in just a few seconds. But I have something I can send to you that will do a whole lot better job than I do. And again, it may or may not be for you, but you may know someone that may be interested. So if you're doing that two or three times a day, and you're doing that five days a week, you're adding about 40 new people to your funnel and your list every single month. And those exposures are really your miles per hour. If you wanna get to where you wanna be faster, then all you do is you just increase your exposures. But two a day is something that you can do every single day, no matter how part-time, spare time you are. And if you do that consistently and persistently over a period of time, it will compound. It's like an apple a day. You know, there's a lot of truth that eating an apple a day keeps the doctor away. It doesn't say, wait till Sunday and eat all seven apples. Your belly's gonna hurt, okay? So just be persistent, consistent. Let those numbers compound. Next thing you know, you got 40 a month in a year. You've added almost 500 people to your prospect list. And that's in addition to talking to your warm market. That's in addition to everything else. Those prospects will add up at an extremely fast pace over a period of time. Okay, last but not least, tip number five, collect contact information. Very rarely will anyone call you back. I've had people that go, man, Darren, I've been waiting for you to call me for weeks. I've been so excited. I read your information. And I'm sitting there going, you had my cell phone number, but yet you've waited weeks and didn't call me back. The fortune is in the immediate follow-up. Exposure is everything, but then we have to make sure we follow up. And it normally takes five to eight exposures for people to accept any information, good or bad. So before I leave, what I do, I'll say, look, what's the best, what's the best way to keep in contact with you? You know, what's, I wanna text you a video a little bit about what I do. If they ask me what I do, what's the number you want me to text that video? I've also learned from experience, do not ask for their email first, because if they give you their email first, a lot of times they don't wanna give you a phone number. So maybe I go, hey, look, what, do, let me grab a business card from you. They go, hey, well, I don't have a business card. Well, that's okay. What's the best number to reach you and we can stay in touch? And, and I just look down or I go, hey, you can put your number right here on my phone and I'll put it on the notes. Say, put your number, put your phone. Or what I will do is I'll say, hey, are you on Facebook? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Hey, l- let me find you. We'll connect on Facebook. Love to stay in touch. See if we can help each other out. You know, something like that. So again, it's about a relationship. And they will know if all you're thinking about is can you sell them something or you're trying to recruit them into your business. The way I look at it is I'm just making friends. And what I do is not for everyone. It's okay, I'm looking for the lookers, but I do wanna start that relationship. And if I don't have their contact information, it is impossible for me to stay in touch. Life gets in the way, so I don't wanna leave my financial future in their hands. So make sure you collect their contact information. Question of the day. What is the number one challenge you have when talking to prospects? Make sure to put that in the comment section below. Also, for more training content just like this, subscribe to the channel so you're notified every time we release content on a weekly basis. And if you have not had a chance to download my free ebook that gives you three keys to succeeding in network marketing, go to succeedwithdarren.com forward slash three keys. We will make sure we put that on the screen and also in the description below. So until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.